here in late fall of the year by this cactus patch. We've got a prickly pear cactus that has struggled a little bit through the hot summer, waiting for the storms to come down and plump them up. Lots of uses for this cactus. One of the uses is it's a host of a little insect. And this insect lives on the pads and covers itself with a little white frothy material, a dry cottony uh, stuff, and hiding inside is a little insect called the cochineal bug. I'm going to bring the knife right in here at the base of this pad, kind of pull off some of the fluff. This cottony material is protecting the little critter inside. You can see one. Maybe you can see one right here. Okay, I'm going to take that chunk of cotton which I have told you has maybe half a dozen cochineal bugs in it. And I'm going to smear it on this little piece of wood. And you can see that what was within that cottony material is red. I smashed the cochineal bug. The red material has been used by people in Mexico and other parts of Central America for hundreds of years as a dye. The name of the dye, of course, is cochineal. It's a nice crimson dye. And, in fact, it's the official dye used by the beef eaters in London. By edict, they can't use any other dye other than cochineal. For those of you that like soft drinks, a common Snapple, which is, um, I think it's the one with mango in it, has cochineal. So when you drink that, it's bug juice within. Lipstick often has cochineal. And maraschino cherries may have uh, the cochineal dye in it to give it that red color. So living as a little insect on the pads only of prickly pear, sucking the juices inside this little cottony material that it produces is part of our everyday living.